Welcome to F12 MGD News Updates. Greetings and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, dear people of God. The synodal process has begun. Mission Sunday is here. Malacca and Johor National Recovery Plan Phase 3 and 4 are in effect. The crowds are out, unconcerned. The unvaccinated continue to present their case. The vulnerable are the elderly, the children, and those with chronic ailments. Some doctors believe that the efficacy of the vaccine wears out because of the heavy medications that we are on. Be different. Don't be indifferent. Protect yourself. Protect others. Time to unite. Unity government, unite for the nation, unite for survival, marriage of convenience. These are the versions of unity we hear. I told a batch of First Holy Communicants that the Eucharistic host is a call to unity. And what is unity? Then with large cards, and four volunteers, they were made to see U N I T the tie. U N I tie. That's what unity is all about. We tie, not tear. The synodal process has begun. The one spirit hovers over the world, flows into open windows makes us hear what the outside voices are saying, the hard questions they ask, and disturbs the hierarchy and the church leadership. Colossians 4.5 reminds us of the seven ones. There's one body and one spirit, just as you are called to the one hope, when you are called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and the Father of all, who is over all, and through all, and in all. Words of St. Paul. Pope Francis calls us to unity in diversity by going back to the Vatican II, our baptisms, the Spirit, the Gospel, and to the synodal process of encounter, listening, and discerning. It is time to listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying to the churches. In unity and docility to the Spirit, let us discern the different church, not another church, as appealed by Pope Francis. A thought for the week. Father Quicksort, an aging parish priest in a little town in La Mancha, Spain, Vacations with his best friend. Sancho is the retired ex-mayor of the town and a committed communist. Both characters are men of very different but deep faith. But what ultimately binds them together are the ways in which they share doubt. At one point, Father Quicksor and Sancho have this conversation. I hope, friend, that you sometimes doubt too. It's human to doubt. I try not to doubt, the mayor says. Oh, so do I. So do I. In that we are certainly alike. Something to think about. Graham Green, the narrator, commented, It's odd how sharing a sense of doubt can bring men together, perhaps even more than sharing a faith. The believer will fight another believer over a shade of difference. The doubter fights only with himself. They embrace their doubts, 
and their doubts caused them to reimagine their beliefs. Graham Greene added, As I see it, doubt shows a person wrestling God. What could be more important than that? Announcements for this week. 1. Malacca and Johor have moved into the National Recovery Plan Phase 4 and 3 respectively. There are guidelines for full capacity. Be cautious, be prepared, be understanding and pastoral to the unvaccinated. There is no need for more divisions and judgments. Just count your blessings and try to be a blessing to one another. 2. The first phase of the Senate process has taken off at the Malacca Johor Diocese level. The survey questions are to help us sense what the Spirit is saying to the churches through the participation of the people of God. All are invited to share, churchgoers and non-churchgoers, the loud and the voiceless, the familiar and the forgotten, the church-centered and those at the peripheries. 3. On the 23rd October, 47 members of the Crucis Evangelisa Si Peribadi 2020-2021 batch will be commissioned to serve their parishes and ministries. 4. Mission Sunday 2021 falls on the 24th of October with the theme We cannot but speak about what we have seen and heard. 5. All Souls Day Masses will be celebrated in the parishes. Only the blessings of cemeteries will take place in the outdoors. Program will be out soon. 6. The parish of St. Teresa Masai will be selling candles, incense and refreshment on October the 30th and 31st and November the 2nd to raise funds for their new church building. This week's Q&Q. The Q asks, People say that there is a culture of despair. Is it true? The culture of despair is where the strong are against the weak. And these are the signs. For them, dignity means being in control seeing vulnerability and weaknesses as liabilities. Suffering and death are meaningless. Suffering robs me of pleasure and autonomy. That's what they say. I only matter if I am productive, measuring myself by what I can do, produce and achieve. But there is a culture of hope where the strong help to carry the weak. The signs of this culture of hope is 1. Dignity is not control. Love is the most important thing in life. That I am made in the image and likeness of God. 2. Suffering and death have meaning. It can be a powerful encounter with God Himself. It can bring me closer to others and be a grace for the world. Third, I am a gift, not a burden. Humans are never to be used to achieve an end. We are His delight and loved by Him. When we are weak, He is with us. Thank you for watching. Only a human person marvels, ponders, creates and adores. Only a human person can look upon the beauty of creation and worship God for what He has made. Let us continue building His kingdom together.